Hello my fellow booktubers. I hope you're all having a great day today. Today I'm going to be giving you guys another book review in which I will be reviewing the fourth installment to Gary Paulson's Hatchet series, Brian's Return. Brian's Return takes place not too long after the river which Brian now has decided to return to the wilderness because he just feels like that's his real home and he just can't cope with modern day society and all technology. He just feels like the wilderness is where he belongs after being stranded there in Hatchet and then having to deal with the winter in there in Brian's winter. He now has chosen the wilderness as his home which he was suggested by an ex-blind police officer named Caleb. So after reading this book I'm gonna actually give it a good solid four out of five stars and let's just begin why. First we have the plot of the story. Yes as I said Brian has returned to the wind to the wilderness. He now has decided to call it his true home. He doesn't want to go back into human society. He wants to have very little human contact as possible and live solely off the land because that's now how he's grown to be after being stranded in the wilderness for like months at a time. That now, now that we know that, yes, that was all really great to see. And once again, Brian Robertson, he's growing more and more in this story, learning how to be more of a survivalist and what some people would call a uh, transcendentalist where he wants to live life to the simplest ways as possible. In fact, you could say he is a transcendentalist right there because he doesn't want to have no human contact like whatsoever. He does not want any technology around. He wants to live solely off the land with nothing else but the tools that he makes on his own right there. No technology. Have no air pollution. He wants to have a good life in the wilderness, peace and quiet, where he can now just be respected by the land and he also respects the land himself. That's really good. He grows more as a character. He is, he still like has some doubts or so, but like I always said before, no character fully develops all the way. I mean, you're always going to be learning no matter what. And he realizes that. He realizes no matter how much I learn, there's always going to be more and more and more for me to learn. He's done, he's crafted very well in this story to get to that point and discover that he's always going to improve and become a better person than he was yesterday. That's all well done. I loved it and it made me love him even more as a character like at times I was like saying to myself you know what I want to go out in the wilderness and live off the land and not have to deal with any human interaction like I want to live like a real pioneer did no help whatsoever like I want to do this on my own that's the type of a character he's like driven to be and that he tries to draw the readers when they read this book in to be. Gary Paulson did a fantastic job with that hence why I adore some of his work so much because he always strives to make his characters grow and show everyone that we all can be just like them if we try hard enough to get to the goals we want to achieve. Brian Robertson is the greatest definition of all the characters he's created to stand by that symbolism. And basically guys, that's pretty much all I have to say about this story. I mean, not too much since it's not a really long book, but it was great. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, remember to hit that like button and be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I do post videos every Friday and I'll try to post more throughout the week. 
No guarantees how many I'll be posting throughout the week, but I'll try to post at least one extra video throughout the week. Once again, guys, y'all have a great day. Stay safe, and y'all take care.